based on the press reports and based on the utter outrage that members of Congress and both parties, frankly, have, uh, have issued as a result of this uh, overreach, according to lawmakers of the IRS, the president came out and several times this week tried to put this in perspective by doing some damage control. The president flat out said it was wrong. Here's the president speaking at the White House. The misconduct that uncovered is inexcusable. It's inexcusable, and Americans are right to be angry about it, and I am angry about it. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior in any agency, but especially in the IRS. The president said he asked the Treasury Secretary Jack Lew, who oversees the IRS, to seek the resignation of the acting IRS commissioner. The IRS commissioner, in turn, replied that, yes, he would resign. And as Daniel Aarons just pointed out, this is an IRS commissioner that was appointed during the Bush administration. Nonetheless, the president said that he will try to get to the bottom of this. He welcomed the criminal investigations being led by the FBI into the IRS. And the president said that he will take this personally, that he will do everything that he can do to try to uh, prevent these sort of activities in which you have, a, you have an arm of the federal government targeting political organizations. Here's the president. I'll do everything in my power to make sure nothing like this happens again. By holding the responsible parties accountable, by putting in place new checks and new safeguards, and going forward by making sure that the law is applied as it should be, in a fair and impartial way. Again, what the IRS was doing is they were targeting groups that applied for status known as 501c4. These are groups that, uh, whose primary purpose must be to promote the social welfare and the common good. But there have been a lot of complaints from uh, political players on both sides of the aisle that since the Supreme Court decision several years ago in Citizens United that opened the floodgates so that corporate interests, corporations could essentially send unlimited amounts of money into the political process through anonymous donations to these front groups that are 501c4s, and the donors do not have to be disclosed. In fact, the number of um, organizations that have gone up, the number of uh, 501c4s uh, doubled to more than 3,400 just over the last two years. And so there's the IRS trying to keep track of all this, trying to figure out, okay, who is legitimately promoting the social welfare, and which of these organizations, I don't know, maybe by Carl Rove or by the Koch brothers, are actually using these newly created organizations simply to funnel millions and millions of dollars into political campaigns, in, order, in other words, to enable the corporate interest to buy out politicians. That's what the IRS was facing. Nonetheless, it does seem as if some of the IRS agents who were engaged in this initially lied about it. They were asked, the IRS was asked, are you specifically targeting any groups? Are you specifically targeting right-wing groups or Tea Party groups for audit? And the IRS denied it. In my view, that's a huge problem. In fact, the biggest problem here, and Daniel Merritt, I get your take on this, it's not so much, I, look, I credit the IRS with cracking. I think there are a lot of organizations that shouldn't have tax-exempt status. I think if you want to compare organizations that promote the social welfare and promote the common good, I think my own consulting business, which largely involves broadcasting and seeking out the truth and broadcasting it, I think that does a far better job of promoting social welfare and the social good than a lot of these political hack organizations that are set up by various corporations so they can funnel money in and, and fight against particular candidates in congressional races. So I applaud the IRS for going after them. And they should go after both Democratic-leaning organizations and Republican organizations, go after both. But that's apparently, you know, that's, that's the first problem, that it seems like the IRS was seemingly, and some employees in, in the Cincinnati field office, were simply going after only the Tea Party organizations. And secondly... If you are going to do this, and again, I applaud the IRS applying the same scrutiny to all these front organizations that you or I would get in terms of audits and whatnot. I apply the IRS. You can't lie about it. You cannot lie. When Congress says, are you doing this? The IRS should have said, of course we are. Of course we're monitoring these organizations. Of course we're making sure that these organizations are actually promoting the social welfare and the common good as opposed to simply being tax-exempt front groups for corporations and for organizations that want to do nothing but use their corporate influence and their industry influence in order to buy off congressional seats.